Liberal fiscal policy, it's enough to drive you to drink. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. I don't know if you caught it the other day, but Ralph Goodale, the liberal fiscal stalwart, he gave a speech to a, a group called Canada 2020. This is a, a liberal think tank here in the nation's capital. And in that speech, he derided the Harper Conservatives for both running deficits and not spending enough money. I don't know how you do that, but Goodale tried to pull it off. And then I realized, you know what? This is what the liberals have been doing for the last several years. Ever since the recession started in 2008, they have been calling for more money to be spent and denouncing that the government won't, is running a deficit. But I want to show you what they were really saying at the start of this. December 2008, the Harper Conservatives under Jim Flaherty, then the finance minister, brought in a fiscal update. Now this one's famous because it threatened to take away the per vote subsidy for the parties and that drove them nuts. It, nuts enough that the Liberals and the NDP formed a coalition with the Bloc Québécois to overthrow the government. But their other complaint for all of those parties wasn't just that their subsidy would go away but that the government wasn't spending enough. They weren't running massive deficits to do a stimulus plan and they demanded they do it. Here's Liberal leader Stéphane Dion on December 3rd, 2008. There is an alternative, Mr. Speaker. Better a public transit for our cities and our communities. Cleaner water, clean energy. Help for our manufacturing sector, our auto sector, our forestry sector and their workers. A plan to create jobs. Why does the Prime Minister care more about his own job than allowing the Parliament to save the jobs of Canadians? That was the last question period before the prorogation to stop the bloc from being part of the government. Ralph Goodale also got up in that same question period and demanded that the government spend billions. Beyond all the same old stuff, why is there nothing new for Canadians? For infrastructure, for housing, for manufacturing, for forestry and autos, and for training. Why do these Conservatives have no new plan right now? Now eventually the Liberals and the NDP and the Bloc, all of them were calling for this. They got their wish and the Harper Conservatives who had refused to go into deficit and stimulus mode decided that they would so that they could get their budget passed. Well since then, let me tell you, there have been nothing but complaints about the fact that the federal government is in deficit and blaming the, the Harper Conservatives if, as if it's all their fault and events had nothing to do with it. The opposition demands during the minority years that more money be spent. Well, that had nothing to do with it. Well, Don Newman was the moderator of the question and answer period after Goodale's speech to Canada 2020 the other day. He's really showing his true progressive colors now. But he did ask Goodale about whether they would run a deficit and Goodale played coy. And particularly when you think of some of the plans that you and others in the party are putting together, you're going to have to probably go back into deficit over the next, I don't know, medium term or short term? Well, you know, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm one who believes in fiscal responsibility. Uh, I've had the experience of, uh, of uh, uh, balancing a number of budgets. Uh, that's an experience some of my conservative friends have not had. Goodale did confirm later on in an interview with Huffington Post that yes, the Liberals would run deficits if they form government. So they're denouncing the current government for running deficits and saying they will run deficits at the same time, which you knew they would do if you listened to Goodale's speech and his demand once again that the government spend billions on new programs. Every dollar that goes into roads, water or transit brings growth of $1.20. Every dollar into affordable housing brings growth of $1.40. A billion dollars into infrastructure stimulates 16,000 person years of good employment. All right, so let's recap. Before December 2008, they denounced the government for not going into deficit and not spending billions in a stimulus program. When the government did that, they denounced them for being in deficit and demanded they spend more money. And now that there's going to be a balanced budget, they're denouncing the balanced budget and saying that they would run a deficit and that there should be more stimulus program. If this doesn't make sense to you, maybe that's because you don't believe in liberal logic. But then again, if you believed in liberal logic, you would believe this. In this economic climate, how, how committed to a balanced uh, budget would you be right now? Would it worry you to go into deficit in this current climate to, as you say, put more people to work? The, the commitment needs to be uh, a commitment to grow the economy, and the budget will balance itself. 
Yes, that's right. The budget will balance itself. See, that ties all of this together. Facts don't matter in the world of Goodale and Trudeau. Facts don't matter at all. Once upon a time, they may have mattered to Ralph Goodale. They may have mattered to the liberals. The liberals did balance the budget in the 90s. I give Jean Chrétien and Paul Martin full credit for that. John Manley as well. They did great work turning around Canada's budgetary situation. But today's liberals are not yesterday's liberals. Today's liberals want to be the NDP. They used to say that the NDP were liberals in a hurry. Now it seems it's the other way around, and the liberals are going further to the left and, and leaving behind their, their blue liberal base. They're leaving behind those that believe in fiscal responsibility, and they're really believing that the budget will balance itself. It won't. That will take effort.